This video simply does another example of a compound interest problem. So the very first thing about compound interest problems, let's write down the formula. And the formula is that y is equal to a, 1 plus r over k, k to the t. So now let's look at a problem. Let's say you have $700, and your interest rate is you get 6% per year. and it's compounded daily. And let's first write the formula in general without knowing how long we put the money in. Well, let's go through here. Uh, y is what we end up with, so that's Y is equal to, A is what we start with, so we start with $700. That's pretty straightforward. Now let's do one plus, and now let's talk about this issue of R and K. R is the interest rate, almost always per year, so it's 6%, so that's 0 0.06. Now K is the number of compound periods per year. Now it's compounded daily, so this turns out to be simply how many days are there in a year. So that's just divided by 365. Now, actually, technically, that should be 365 and 1 fourth because of leak here, but, that's, but we'll just use 365. And then we raise that to a power, and the power we raise that is that 365, because that's K, times T times the number of years. And that's going to be your overall formula. Now, you have to be very careful plugging this calculator, but what you get here is um, you get a formula so it can, and you can use that formula for however many years. So let's say, for example, we want to use this formula. Y is equal to 700, 1 plus 0 0.06 to 365, 365T, and we want to know how much money we have after five years. So if you type in, if you wanted to figure that out, you simply go y is equal to 700, 1 plus 0 0.06 to the 365 times 365 times 5. And now let's do that very carefully. What we would do here is we would first do what's inside the parentheses, so that's 0 0.06 divided by 365 plus 1. So you get 1.0001644. I'm going to round it a little bit. And then you're going to go 365 times 5. 365 times 5 is 1825. And then you're going to raise to the power. So that's 1.0001644 raised to the 1825 and you get 1.34987. Now, I actually wouldn't um, round these at all. I would just leave the numbers in my calculator. I'm just rounding to show you each step. And then I simply multiply that by 700 times 700 and I get $944. And 91 cents, more or less. And that's all you do. That's how you solve this problem. Now, the advantage of doing this problem without, uh, with just using the formula, oops, that's the wrong case, I'm sorry. The, the advantage of doing this problem with doing the formula is if we wanted to do it not for five years, but for 10 years, the only difference is we would plug in a 10. So we take this exact same formula, but it would be 700, 1 plus 0 0.06 over 365 raised to the 365 times 10. And that's especially good when you have to do a lot of calculations. And that's how you do compound interest problems.